Hi everybody, it's me, Bonkai922. Been watching a lot of anime today. <clears throat> Been uh, checking out Long Horizon and, and a bunch of other series. I finally watched World Trigger. Uh, this is gonna be fun on Thursday night. Mm, it works. Check out World Trigger. Eh, animation's a little, uh, but pretty good. Pretty good. Now this episode, episode four. Uh, finding the will. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to get. Yeah, episode 4, Finding the Will to Fight. Now, I am very impressed. This is one thing that obviously they never did with the original Fates Tonight because of the fact there was no connection to it. And the more we get involved into the roots of Fates Tonight, the more this is going to take precedence. And what I'm talking about? Okay. There's a big bridge developing between Fate Zero and this series. And you see it... Where you see it... For first, first mention of it was during... Um, I think it was episode 2 or 3. When we saw Kodamine. And he was talking to somebody that I don't want to mention yet. Because that's spoiling but he was mentioning about Kurtsugu and everything. And that was our first connection to Phase Zero. Now, in this episode, it kind of... I step back a bit. Now, when we go to... Um, we see Elia and the castle that she's staying in. And she's got servants with red eyes, which is a clear trait for the Einsberg. Einsberg. And she says she's going to make him suffer in Kurtsugu's place. And she's talking about Emiya. I mean, Shira. And I'm like... So... The way I look at it. That way! That's a clear indicator from Fate Zero. Now, I don't remember too much from Fate Zero. Um, the ending, but... Anyone who's seen it knows that Kutsuga didn't want to use the Grail, and so on and so forth, you know, without spoiling, you know, give or take. But, I guess, I guess she has a grudge, Elia, to Kutsuga, now she's gonna throw it onto Shiro, you know, give or take. Also in this episode, it was pretty good, because overall rating, though, there's not a much, ha not much happened. The only major thing that happened is we finally get a presence of another servant. And this servant has made a few moves, so to speak. Not anything major, just certain things that they were doing. And the one thing that the servant that was mentioned was Castor. And supposedly, uh, Rin, she finds this out and saying that all the the people are dying. The life energy from those people are going is going straight to the mountains. And that's a whole nother thing. It's a temple. That's where supposedly Castor is hiding. And it was kind of funny because, like, they were, they they basically, you know, Shiro, he goes to the school to deliver, um, what, Fu, what's her name, Fujine? You know, the teacher? Her, her lunch. And Saber's there, and she's, like, walking around the fucking school and shit. I was like, yo, what are you doing? Uh, and she encounters that teacher. Now, I'm not going to say anything because I know what this guy is. I, I know what happens with him in this in this whole thing. I'm not saying anything. But he sees her and so on and so forth. It's like a little talk here and there. But nothing too major. Overall, this was a good episode. Not a lot happened. But like I said, the thing with Caster happened. Which basically caught my eye because it wasn't... it. It's better than what happened in the original one. Because in the original one, there wasn't really that main thing with Caster. And here there is. Which intrigues me. And basically we see that she creates these, um... That was weird. A little flash. Um, she creates these, um... Skeleton... Um... They look like lizards. 
skeleton lizards, and she's got these skeleton men in, in, the, in the venting machine, in the venting area. I was I was digging that shit. That, that was an awesome battle with Rin. And Rin was obviously pissed off, because obviously she's involving, Caster's involving people, normal people in this situation now. Now it's coming to a whole new level, because some masters and servants do that. They'll, you know, have them suck up on life energy to replenish their mana. But that's piece, that, that, that was intriguing. Now, and the other thing was, obviously, Rin, she's not going to hesitate against Shiro. I kind of know about this already. <laughs> I won't spoil. But it sets up for next week's episode and should be very interesting. But the thing in the beginning really caught my eye because I didn't expect it. Because, um... I didn't expect this strong connection with Fate Zero. And apparently, for Taba, they're sending it really strongly. And I'm like, interesting. Interesting. I like that because it really puts pre it, it, it sends precedence on Shiro. And, and we see Shiro in the episode also. After the whole thing at the school, he, he's like, he's doing that thing he does, the magic he can do. And so on and so forth. I thought that was cool in the episode as well. But this whole precedence of Fate Zero just just coming to mention. Few things from Fate Zero in this show. I love it. Because it makes it look it looks it makes the whole Fate series into like a continuous flow. Like you have Fate Zero, now you go into Fate Stay Night, and then hopefully you go into from there. And I, I think it wasn't too recently that they mentioned that they're coming out with Fate Heaven's Feel. And it's going to be a movie. Check that shit out. So this will, this will really, you know, move things forward. Now, like I said, I've seen the Unlimited Blade Works movie. I know a lot. <laughs> I know a lot. And I'm not going to say anything, but I'm not going to say it, but things do pick up greatly. There's like a few things. There's actually like two things. One thing that I know is going to be shown and another thing that I'm not sure. The thing that I, that I'm not sure about that we will see as we go down the road with these episodes is very graphic, but I'm not going to say what it is. And the other thing is a huge reveal. A huge reveal that I already know about. Um, it was already shown in last week's episode. At the very end. The uh, moment Shiro faints. He has these visions. And that kind of depicts to the reveal later on. But overall, like I said, 4 out of 5 for this episode. Um, also, you know, we had Sh Saber telling Shiro about the fact that he's not really a good mage, and that's why she can't reveal to him her origins, and she is in the wall. So, I thought that was interesting as well, too. But overall, good episode, 4 out of 5. And it seems next week, Rin... Thank you. So this should be interesting. Um, eventually, I think, though, somebody gets involved... I'm not sure. Let's wait and see. Should be interesting. I'm Bon Kai 22 Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, Episode 4 in the books. I gotta I think I'm gonna check out to see how much this how many episodes this is gonna be. I think this is gonna be longer. I think this is gonna be like at least twenty. But I think they they might I'm not sure if it's gonna show all here or they're gonna split it off. Like they'll show half here and then half another season. We'll have to wait and see. I'll see you guys later. Peace.